Hello everyone, it's Eddie the Chump coming back with another video and wow it's been a long time. It's been about two weeks I think since I posted a video and this is my first one back so I wanted to um, update all you people on what's going on. The gameplay is a DSR nuclear that I got. Now although I am playing in a nine man this is still not an easy thing to do um, but I do hard scope my way to victory, don't hate me, I, I'm obviously not good enough to get in your cousin's clan, I don't care. Anyway, um, this video is primarily going to be an update video about where I've been, what I've been doing, and also it's kind of sec. It, well, its main purpose really is to give a sh shout out to a good friend of mine, Jace McNasty. Um, Jace, I met on Twitch, um, watching his streams. Um, he streams quite often. He's really fun to watch. He plays, you know, things like Super Meat Boy. He plays Modern Warfare Three. Uh, he's not too keen on Black Ops 2, but um, his streams are always fun and friendly, so I suggest you check him out. He also has a YouTube channel, um, both of which links his Twitch TV channel. If you could go and follow him, that would be great. Um, and his YouTube channel. His YouTube channel, like, he doesn't upload that regularly. Well, he does, but what it mainly is, is he does these, re like, really creative sort of, like, montage videos. Um, it's They're hard to describe. It's kind of, they're sort of, like, motivational videos uh, that's the best way I can describe it where he cuts footage of gameplay together and quotes from you know like either philosophy or or you know famous people talking saying inspirational things and I'm not doing it justice at all I'm kind of like fumbling around but it's they're, they're really good and I really enjoy them and I think you'll enjoy them too if you like my content so go and check him out that would be great um, so yeah check out Jace McNasty that would be great right so what have I been doing right um, I took a break for about two weeks, and if I'm honest, there's sort of a myriad of reasons, as always with people's lives, these things happen. Loads of things conspire against you, because uh, the world is against me, and it's not really. But um, the first being is that my grandmother, who I'm, who I'm very fond of, has become quite, quite ill actually. So I had to go. She lives in Cornwall, so I had to go down to Cornwall, which if you, you know, well, you probably won't know, but where, from where I live is about 300 miles. I went down there and I spent about four or five days with the family, with my mum and my American uncle and his wife came over and we had a really nice family time, but that's where I've been. So obviously I couldn't record or do videos, so that's why there's uh, there's been a bit of a gap. There's also um, there's also another reason. I, for those of you who've been watching the channel, following it for a while, I kind of, sort of I had my sort of first YouTube beef with someone, although I didn't really have it with them, they had it with me, and um, it just sort of it just, it. It kind of, it made me see YouTube as kind of like stupid and pointless because what, I, I, I'll be, I'll come clean with you. What YouTubers are, right, are guys generally who sit in their bedrooms, um, who have opinions about games or other things and they put them on the internet, right? That's what they do. Famously, Hutch, you know, makes videos and puts them on the internet. That's his intro. And that's kind of true. And the problem with that is that because you're doing that in relative isolation, you're doing it in your bedroom, and because you have total control, you can say whatever the fuck you want. It doesn't matter if it's true, it doesn't matter if it's exaggerated, it doesn't matter. You have no accountability apart from to yourself. And although that's great for freedom of expression, it also leads to things like beefs that are totally stupid, that don't need to happen in the first place. And it kind of, it kind of really put me off actually for a little bit. I was kind of like, well, why the fuck should I put the effort in? Not not because I don't want to make it for you guys, but why the fuck should I put the effort in if someone's just going to talk shit about you with stuff that's not true? So, fuck that. Um, I'm going to make videos, as I've always said, for me, primarily. But it did, I'm not going to lie to you and say it didn't rob so, some of my motivation to do it. But I've got it back. I've had that break from Call of Duty. And I suppose the third aspect of that, of why I've taken a break, is thinking critically... Um, Black Ops 2 is a very well balanced game, its connections can be very iffy, you know, and that's being generous, they can be absolutely shocking if I'm totally honest, and I have fiber optic, um, you all know my thoughts about being made host, <laughs> sorry I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, um, but yeah, I, it's just not as fun, even though I said, quite famous, I'm eating my own words now, humble pie, even though I said that Modern Warfare 3 was a failed game, um, I do find it much more fun than this one and I don't think I'm alone in that. I think a lot of YouTubers have, have realised, you know, yes it's got bad things like Death Streaks and it did have lag comp but 
in my experience, the lag comp in Black Ops 2 is, is far worse and far more troublesome. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to desert Black Ops 2 because I do find it... It's not, it's not like I don't find it fun. It's just that with no Moab, with no sort of thing to go for in games, it hasn't kept my interest as much as Modern Warfare 3 did. I mean, I played Modern Warfare 3 solidly for a year. I was raging the whole time, you know, like an idiot, but I still played it for a year, whereas this one I've had to take breaks and I haven't quite enjoyed it as much, even though I play with really good people and we always, you know, like, rape face and stuff, so... But, you know, what can I say? Modern Warfare 3 is more fun. Um, so, yeah, Sub Sunday is back now, so sorry for not putting a video up about it, but I had my reasons. I was away. I couldn't do anything about it. Um, but it is back now, so if you want to join in in that, that would be great. I tried to do one this Sunday, but it didn't really do that well, because I don't think many people knew it was happening. Um, but, yeah, see you soon.